What's on? What's up? What's happening? Welcome back to another TR7 tutorial. Today we're going to be learning the, the kind of scary one if you're first trying it, but it is super fun. This one is the Ollie Fakey on a quarter pipe, of course. In order to do this ollie fakie on the transition, there's only two things you're gonna to need to know how to do. And that's pump, so you can get a little bit of speed on the ramp. And if you can do a little ollie on the flat too, it's definitely gonna help. So first of all, with this ollie fakie, it might be really scary to give it a go because it is an ollie on the quarter pipe. But honestly, they're not as scary as you think. When you come up the ramp, you get that momentum that pushes you into the air a bit more, so it's a bit easier to get your pop. And if you already know how to pump on the mini, then you know how to keep your weight on the ramp to stay on the board. And you're gonna be doing the same thing when you do the ollie. It's just giving it that little pop. To get yourself started on this one, you're gonna to wanna to just give yourself a nice push from the bottom, do a couple of pumps on the ramp, try get yourself going, and then you're gonna shuffle your feet into that ollie position, which for me, is back foot right in the middle of the tail here, ready to give it that good pop. Front foot just behind the bolts, you don't need to come too far back. I know people say about doing that big push up the board, but when you're doing an ollie on this, it's more about that pop from the back. So front foot just behind those bolts there, nice and square, ready to go up. So we're pumping on the ramp, getting our feet into that right position to do this ollie. Now another important bit is making sure you go up nice and straight. If you don't go up nice and straight, you're gonna end, yourself, end up sending yourself on some weird angle and your ollie is definitely not gonna happen as easy. The best thing to do to keep it straight is keep your shoulders in line with your board all straight down. Whenever we're skateboarding, we wanna be sideways. It's a sideways sport. Shoulders in line, straight up, straight down and this is going to help get that ollie real nice. Real nice. <laughs> for this ollie fake, ollie, ollie fake. <laughs> so for this ollie fakie, you're not going to want to start right up the top of the ramp because that's going to be a bit scary. The best thing about it is you can literally start as low as you want to. You can go right down the bottom, give it a little ollie and then slowly you just got to push yourself a bit higher and higher until eventually you're getting them right out the top, but it's all about giving yourself that little push. So we're gonna start off doing them right down at the bottom. Maybe a couple pumps first of all, get yourself ready. When you are ready, feet in position, it's just that little pop. And that's all you gotta give it to get it off the floor is that little pop. One of the key things is the timing. So as you come up, you're gonna wait for that bit right in between going up and coming down. That middle ground where we're weightless in the middle, that second there, that's where you want to be popping this ollie. You do it too early, you're going to end up popping up the ramp and we don't really want that. We want our pop to come straight up out of it and then back down. You pop too late and you're going to end up popping down the ramp and that's just really hard, not easy to do. So right in the middle ground is that perfect spot for the ollie. Now we're giving this ollie fakie a go at the bottom, you want to start thinking about where your weight is over the board. So sometimes it's in our natural instinct to try and stand right up and get our weight above the board, but when we're on the ramp, this is going to cause extra weight pushing down and push the board out from underneath us. So what we're going to have to do is keep our weight into the ramp like we do when we're pumping it. You can feel it when you pump on it as you come up, you stay with the board in order to come back in and you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing with this ollie. Come up, pop it out on the side, land back in and come down with it. If you try to stand up too early, you're just gonna end up pushing that board out, slipping out underneath you and you might have a little bail. But if you wait, keep that weight with you into the middle of the ramp above your chest, you're gonna keep it going nice and easy. So if you follow all those steps, you should be able to get a nice little ollie comfortably down towards the bottom of the ramp. And now your only job 
is building it up. As we build it up the ramp, you're going to find that with more speed and more height on the ramp, your ollies are going to start naturally coming a little bit higher than what they would right at the bottom. But to really help get them into the air, what we can do is suck our legs right up like this. Now this is really going to help when you're right at the top because it's going to bring you away from that coping so you're ready to come back in. But it's a really good thing to start practicing as early as possible because you want those ollies to come right out so you've got no chance of hanging up on the top. The more you give that tail a slap from the back as you're coming up, the harder that slap is, the more height you're going to get out of that pop. Just like when you're doing them on the floor. It's really going to help if you properly smash into that back because it's going to get you up there, ready to come straight back in. As you start to build your way up the ramp, you're going to realize how you're going to land it really because it is the same as when you're down at the bottom, it's just watching it making sure you know you're in the right spot and your body's in a good spot to land. And if you do, you commit to it and push it in. If not, you kick it away with those legs just to get away from it. That is about all I can say on the Ollie Fakey. Go out there and give it a go, because although it seems like it might be scary and undoable, once you do actually try it, if you can Ollie and you can pump on the mini ramp, you're more than likely going to be able to do it and you're really going to surprise yourself. There's nothing better really than surprising yourself on the skateboard with a new trick. That's our Ollie Fakie tutorial. I hope this one helped you to learn them. If it did, don't forget to leave us a comment, a like. We love it all. If you think you've got a better way of doing them, leave us a comment as well. We just love to hear some feedback. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the little bell and you'll always be the first one to see our new videos. Get out there and try some Ollie Fakies.